this video looks at reversing volume formally and we have here a sphere, a cylinder and a cone and we're told the volume of each of the shapes 20, 30 and 50 and we have to work backwards to find out a missing measurement. Okay so for the sphere we know the volume of the sphere is 4 thirds times pi times r cubed and the answer of this has got to equal 20. And we've got to reverse this to work out what r is. And to do this, we do the reverse operations, step by step. So here we have an over 3. So to work out what r is, first of all, we times by 3. Then we do the opposite of times by 4. We divide by 4. And then we divide by pi. So we're doing the opposite operation to cancel off. And this leaves us with r cubed. I can then work this out. And by the way, this is the same as 20 times 3 is 60 over 4 pi. But on my calculator, I can enter 20 times by 3 divided by 4 divided by pi or 60 over 4 pi and this works out to be 4.77 and this is r cubed so to find what r is I then do the cube root opposite of cubing the cube root of this number 4.77 so I'll do the cube root of this answer to make it accurate and I get the answer that r is 1.68 to 3 significant figures. So again, to unravel it, I do the reverse. I times by 3, divide by 4, divide by pi, and then finish off with the cube root to get the radius. And to check the answer, I could work out 4 thirds times pi times 1.68 cubed, and the answer would indeed equal 20 in this case. Okay, so for the second one, it's now a cylinder. Now, we know that the formula for a cylinder is pi times r squared times h will equal the volume. So in this case, pi times by the radius squared, which is 8, times by the height, which in this case is 5h, must equal the volume of 30. And I must unravel this. But to begin with, I'm going to simplify this left hand side. Now 8 squared is 64. So pi times 64 times 5h equals 30. And 64 times by 5 is 320. So this becomes 320, there's a pi, there's a h, and this equals 30. Now like in the first example I want to unravel this to find h. So I'm going to basically do the opposites. So to find out h I will do 30 and I will divide by 320 and I will divide by pi. Or h equals 30 over 320 pi. On a calculator I can enter 30 divide by 320 divided by pi and I get quite a small value h equals 0.029 8 to 3 significant figures. And again, I can always check the answer by doing pi times 8 squared times 5 times by 0 0.0298 and indeed it, we're going to get the answer 30 if we work it through. Okay, so the last question is now a cone. Now a cone volume is a third times pi times r squared times by the height, the height which in this case equals 50. So a third times by pi times r squared times by the height must equal 50. A bit like the first one, I'm going to unravel the equation to find first of all what r squared equals. So I've got a 1 here which I can sort of ignore, but I've got an over 3. So I can first of all times by 3. Then I can divide by pi, 
and then divide by 12. Which, if you want to, you can write as 50 times 350 over 12 pi. But I can work this out. So I've basically done 50 times by 3 divided by pi divided by 12. And this gives the answer 3.98 to 3SF. So that's R squared. So to find R, I'll then do the square root this time, because it was R squared, of this exact answer. So I'll do the square root of this exact answer, and I get from that that R equals 1.99 to 3 significant figures. And as always, I can check that. If I were to do a third times pi, times 1.99 squared, times by 12, would get the answer of 50.